Chapter 5 Season 4 has been out for a few days now, and I'm absolutely having a blast with the brand new season. I can confidently say that this is the most fun that I've had playing Fortnite since Mega in Chapter 4 Season 2. For starters, the Battle Pass is a huge hit for me, and I truly love every skin that we receive. I was a massive fan of the Marvel-filled pass in Chapter 2 Season 4, but I think this Battle Pass gives that pass a run for its money. Now, I won't go into much detail for each skin, as I've already ranked each skin inside of the Battle Pass in this video right here, so if you haven't checked it out, be sure to head over and give it a watch after this video. But what I will say is that Gwenpool War Machine, and Doctor Doom are my personal favorites from the Battle Pass, and even the skins that I have lower on the list, like Captain Jonesy and Pilverine, are still amazing skins that I would buy in the item shop if they weren't already in the Battle Pass. Emma Frost is a very underrated skin in my opinion from the past, and Sherry is also a solid tier 100. So at this point, I'm not confident enough to say that the Battle Pass is better than the Battle Pass we received in Chapter 2 Season 4, but it's without a doubt the best Battle Pass of Chapter 5. The map is another part of the season that I was really looking forward to, and I think the Epic Games knocked it out of the park. Doom's Castle is a great addition to the map, the POI is massive, the colors are amazing, and it just feels like a return to the old fill of points of interest. Doomstat is another POI that I love for the season, and it's honestly probably my favorite of the bunch. I just love the residential POIs inside of Fortnite like Pleasant Park, and there are so many easter eggs around this POI, like Von Doom scoops, and even signs of Doctor Doom threatening your life if you litter, that truly makes it feel like real people live in this location, and I've always enjoyed that vibe with a Fortnite point of interest. The Raft is another addition to the map for Season 4 that I was really looking forward to, and overall I think it's a pretty strong addition to the Chapter 5 map, as I love the overall vibe that we have of an area where villains have escaped, and while the POI is a little bit basic and repetitive when compared to other new additions for the season, I still think it's a great POI, and it's one of the best additions to the map for Chapter 5. Now if you watch my channel, or you've talked to me on my Discord, you know that the most important aspect of a Fortnite season, at least in my opinion, is the loot pool that we receive for the season. And just like the rest of the categories for the season, I think that Fortnite knocked this loot pool out of the park. Of course, it's a Marvel themed season, so we have Marvel powers, but truthfully, my favorite aspect of the loot pool for season 4 is the brand new weapons that they've added. The Striker Burst Assault Rifle made its return with modifications this time around, and it's easily my favorite assault rifle from Chapter 5. The new Sovereign Shotgun also made its debut, and I honestly think this weapon is pretty underrated. I still prefer using the Gatekeeper over the Sovereign Shotgun, but I honestly wish that Epic Games had vaulted the Hammer Pump, because it's easily one of the worst shotguns and one of my least favorites that we've ever had. But my favorite weapon for the season is without a doubt the dual SMGs. The fire rate on these are insane, they do some great damage, and they're extremely satisfying to use. But as we mentioned, of course we have brand new Marvel powers in the loot pool as well. The hover jets are great for traversal, and these jetpacks are also pretty crucial to countering the Captain America shield and War Machine's arsenal. And speaking of Cap's shield, I think the shield is super fun to use, but I have a suspicion that Epic Games will nerf it, as it's able to go through metal walls on callback, as well as the shield bubble. Not to mention the lock-on to players when using it is pretty crazy, and in my opinion, it's a little too easy to block attacks when using the shield. Future twisty here, and sure enough, Epic Games nerfed the shield while I was in the process of editing, but the item still seems pretty useful. So with that said, I'll kick it back to my past self. Next up, we have the War Machine Arsenal, which is pretty fun to use. And I don't think this item is overpowered, because you can spam rockets and bullets at the same time, but the item certainly helps put your opponent on their toes, makes it easy to destroy any cover that your opponent could be using. Overall, this loot pool is honestly very solid, and with the Chapter 2 Season 4 powers being added back to the files, the loot pool could get even crazier as we proceed throughout the season. So with all that said, I truly think the season has the potential to be one of the best seasons of all time, and who knows, it might even be better than Chapter 2 Season 4 when all is said and done, which is currently my favorite season of all time alongside Mega from Chapter 4 Season 2. But time will tell if Epic pulls another Season 3 nerfing all the items, but as long as Epic keeps pushing out great items and updates, and continues to let these items be fun, I think this season will truly be something special. But as always guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below on how you feel about the season so far. But until next time guys, as always, take care and stay twisted.